Hey everyone, let's learn English with poetry. This is January by John Updike. Here's an overview of what we'll cover in this video. First, let's learn a little bit about the poet. John Updike is an American novelist, poet, and short story writer. He was born on March 18, 1932, in Pennsylvania. He often writes about the American small town, or the everyday person, and his style is realist. He often calls attention to the importance of place. Before we read the poem, let's review some important terms. This poem contains rhyming. There are words that have similar sounds. For example, C and B. When a writer uses a metaphor, they're describing something by comparing it to something else. For example, his eyes were icy. Notice that this poem was written in 1965. In the past, milk was often delivered to people's homes. Now let's review some vocabulary from the poem. Spark, a small bit of burning material from electricity, fire, etc. Burst, break open, usually from pressure inside. Lace, an open fabric made by knitting the thread in patterns. Radiator, a metal heater system. Purr, the quiet, continuous vibration a cat makes. Now let's read the poem. January. The days are short, the sun a spark, hung thin between the dark and dark. Fat snowy footsteps track the floor, milk bottles burst outside the door. The river is a frozen place, held still beneath the trees of lace. The sky is low, the wind is gray, the radiator purrs all day. Go ahead and take a moment to read the poem on your own. You can pause the video. Let's go back to the poem and answer some questions. Why is the sun described as a spark? Why do the milk bottles burst? What metaphor does the writer use? Compare the descriptions of outside and inside. What is the difference? Here are some possible explanations to these questions. Why is the sun described as a spark? A spark is a small bit of burning material. This metaphor helps show us that the sun feels small or weak in the winter. Why do the milk bottles burst? The milk bottles were delivered to the doorstep outside. They burst because the milk froze. What metaphor does the writer use? The trees are compared to lace. They probably look like lace because of the open pattern and white color. Compare the descriptions of outside and inside. What is the difference? The outside landscape is described in the poem with words like frozen and gray, and the sun is low. This is contrasted with the heater inside. It suggests comfort and warmth, like the purr of a cat. Now let's make some personal connections. Talk with a partner. Number one. What part of the poem stood out to you, was memorable the most? Number two, what do you like or dislike about winter? Number three, what is your favorite season? Number four, the writer used images, a burst milk bottle, trees like lace, etc. to describe winter. What image would you use to represent your favorite season? After that, share one thing your partner discussed and tell the class. Think about questions like, 
Were any answers interesting? Were any explanations surprising? Did you have any responses in common? Or did you have different or opposite responses?